ready to start nonetheless. Getting very nervous, people edging forward. The start has disappeared into his box. 10 seconds to go and they're racing. Some of them pushing their bikes, some of them going. And Shivers, who is And there's another away. fall, big crash on the start line once again. By 82, Greg that's Neal. Greg Neal, one of the favourites for the event. They just couldn't leave the starting line, they were hit. Neil's just collapsed over the fence. And here we come now, up through Reed Park, and the leader's on the first lap of what we think will be the six-lap Australian Sidecar Grand Prix. And it still looks like Shivers, who has the lead on bike 12, and Taylor behind him in the black and gold. This time tucked in much, much closer. This is going to be a race between them. And behind them again, bike 10, Barry Horner, on the ground effects. Yamaha 700, Horner with his passenger Eddie Griffin. The bike wearing aerodynamic skirts intended to suck the machine down into the track, especially on the fast Conrod Strait. Conrod straight and this is going to be a real run to the finish because these two riders are going to be locked in battle for the Grand Prix of 1983 in the blue and white colours at Shivers and look at Taylor as he gets right underneath the back of the chair he can't get any closer than that and tucked right in behind him is number 10 Horner and this is going to be a great braking duel and Horner's blown blue smoke pours out of the back of the bike and Taylor in bike number 14 goes through on the inside can he do it yes he does but only just a rough overtaking manoeuvre, and now Shivers slams back into the lead again. Up to the braking area in Hell Corner, and Shivers is holding it on the inside. Can't do it, and the Australian champion slams into the lead. Shivers and Halliday so determined. Shivers out of the slipstream, but he's a wily fox and he goes for the outside running as they go up to the top of the mountain and look at the way the machines are bucking and weaving as they crest the top of the hill. And we can barely see the helmet of Doug Shivers in the blue and white as they come across the top of the mountain, around through Castrol Curve and then on towards McPhillamy. And we await news of where Taylor and Fraser are. There they go, right in head. And Shivers has a little look on the outside, but you couldn't pick a worse spot on the track to try and go around the outside of anybody as they come down through Skyline. And Shivers on that occasion seemed to be slowing a little as he came through that left-hander. But it's the man who's taken this event on the last four occasions. Jeff Taylor, who has the lead with his passenger, Barry Fraser. Flash of third place, and you can see an enormous gap back to fourth, and the rest of the field just not in the hunt in the 83 Australian Sidecar Grand Prix over six laps. On to Conrad and just imagine the view that the sidecar passenger would get as he lays three inches or she lays three inches off the ground at speeds that would be getting upwards of 250 kilometres per hour. Shivers and Halliday start to reel Taylor and Fraser in. Yesterday in a preliminary race, Taylor and Fraser had real problems down Conrad Strait. The Yamaha TZ 750 engine was missing, and you can see just now what a speed advantage the Shivers bike has down Conrad Strait as he tucks to the inside now, trying to outdrag him up the straight, and he'll probably do it. Flying lap time of 2.28 as Taylor cuts back across Shivers. And Shivers goes on the inside, and that was very good bit of sidecar work. Passenger Halliday working very well. Taylor undecided as to whether to use the slipstream or just go for it on the outside as they go up towards the top. And this is going to be a heart stopper. As we watch the leaders crest the top, the news through that unofficially Jeff Taylor has broken the exi existing lap record, which stood at 2.29.22, which he set in 1981, and records an unofficial time of 2.28.28. So Taylor in the lead, bike 14. 
Margaret Halliday, oh, so close to the concrete fencing now as they try to outbreak over Skyline. Great shots from our Ocean Road chopper at the Bell Jet Ranger with Terry Lee in control as we watch them come down the top of the mountain. It's Mark Halliday and Doug Shivers in the lead from Barry, uh, Barry Fraser, the passenger, Jeff Taylor, the rider. Now that's a turn up for the books because there is no way that Taylor and Fraser have been so seriously challenged in maybe two or three years. Total dominance of sidecar racing in Australia before Shivers and Halliday returned from Halliday's native New Zealand where they had actually become the New Zealand champions two years ago. And now, with only one and a half laps remaining, it's anyone's race. Enormous get back to third place, which at last count was number 10, Barry Horner. And here he comes. <laughs> Waiting for the leaders now on Conrod Strait. And it's Taylor who's gone back into the lead, but Shivers comes back once again. Past the drive-in on the right-hand side and cresting now towards the last hump. And Shivers in the blue and white colours on the left-hand side there. Taylor in the right. Lap rider will get in their way. It forces Fraser to drop in behind. Now comes back on the outside oh. and they touch. And Fraser comes off second best in that manoeuvre. And the crowd is rarely cheering in the uh, pit grandstand. They love it. Blue flag, 6.2 kilometres to go. And you couldn't say that Chivas and Halliday are in the box seat because it's still anyone's race. Look at the wheels lifting on the sidecar. Now, Taylor and Fraser take a tighter line through Hell Corner and really gas it on as they go up Mountain Straight. But has Chivas got too much of a lead? Oh, the TZ750 of Jeffrey Taylor's reeling him in across the top. exciting sidecar Grand Prix seen at Mount Panorama in many a year across the top of the mountain for the last time Taylor and Shivers here they come it's Taylor in the lead Shivers right behind trying for an outside maneuver over skyline oh no that's almost impossible you just couldn't do it Shivers had to drop back behind. But what bravery from both riders. Now down through the mountain, it's going to be all decided on Conrad Strait. Shivers has got to stay nice and tight, but has got a slingshot through Forest Elbow down Conrad. elbow for the last time and you can see the black and yellow colours of Jeffrey Taylor in, Lee, in the lead with Doug Shivers tucked right in behind in the blue and white gear and this is going to be one of the most interesting finishes to the Grand Prix that we've ever seen and look at uh, Jeffrey Taylor as he powers the TZ 750 but Shivers seems to be coming back just that little bit more remember that Taylor has won this event in the last four occasions on the hump for the last time and under the bridge and it looks like he may just get this one in the bag Magnificent finish to the 1983 Australian 1000cc sidecar Grand Prix. Check it flag out. A win to Jeff Taylor. Second place to Doug Shivers. And that's fourth place. That's Barry Horner and Eddie Griffin following home Graham Dewhurst and Alan Jamison, who came third. The Australian Sidecar Grand Prix completed in 14 minutes, 55.18 seconds, an outlap average of 148.81 kilometres.